yes children now we discuss the concepts of sound children children what is sound sound is a form of energy when it reaches our ear it produces or we feel a sensation of hearing and we know that vibrating bodies will produce sound but can we hear the vibrating uh, sound produced by all vibrating bodies no children so the sounds with a less than 20 hertz frequency are called infrasonics the sound with a greater than 20 hertz uh, frequency are called ultrasonic these sounds we can't hear then what is the audible range of the sound children only 20 hertz to 20000 hertz children as sound can propagate in the form of wave we need to recall about a wave what is a wave children here a disturbance created in the medium which can travel in all directions with the equal speed is called wave but one important thing is that children during the propagation of wave particles of the medium they do not vibrate rather they what they do not move sorry they do not move rather they vibrate from their mean positions so it depends for the propagation of wave whether medium is required or not we have two types of wave mechanical waves and the transfer waves what are mechanical waves the waves which require material medium for the propagation are called mechanical waves for electromagnetic waves children what we can say material medium is not at all required now based on the vibration how the particles are vibrating during the propagation of wave waves are classified to two categories longitudinal wave transfer wave what are longitudinal waves children here the wave in which the particles of the medium vibrate parallel to the direction of propagation of wave is called longitudinal wave during the propagation of longitudinal waves children compressions and rare fractions are formed and these longitudinal waves can propagate through solids liquids gases comes to the transfer waves children the wave in which particles of the medium vibrate perpendicular to the direction of propagation of wave is called transfer wave and during the propagation of transfer waves crust and troughs are formed these transfer waves can propagate through the uh, gases and only on the surface of the liquids only clear fine then how to find the how to calculate the speed of the longitudinal wave example sound wave in air comes under longitudinal wave right yes here and children uh, the uh, what we can say the sound waves in the solids comes in the transfer waves don't get confused so v is equal to here gamma p by rho and children here the speed of the sound on which factor does the speed of sound depends speed of sound depends on temperature depends on density of the medium and depends on the what we can say humidity and depends on the direction of wind also and here speed of the sound does not depend on pressure frequency wavelength and amplitude clear fine now come to children so what are the waves which are produced on the stretch string comes in the transfer wave so the speed of the transfer wave is v is equal to tension by m m is what here linear mass this is the mass per unit length okay now fine children next reflection of sound children so like light sound also will undergo reflection but here one important condition is there what is that so to happen this reflection of sound children the size of the object should be very much bigger than that of the wavelength of the sound and even like uh, light children sound also will undergo refraction so during the refraction of sound children frequency remains constant but during the refraction of sound what we can say speed wavelength intensity will change like a light only comes to the echo so some students they will have a confusion with the reflection of sound and uh, echo children please try to understand all echoes are not a echo all reflection of sound all reflection of sound can't be echo actually try to understand because some conditions are there when these conditions are fulfilled then only reflection of sound can be a echo so what is the echo children here thus uh, the reflected sound which is heard from a distant object when virginal sound has ceased is called echo so look at here for example here a person is producing a sound and it is a d is a distance between obstacle and a source of sound children this uh, what we can sound is going this is called incident ray the incident sound wave it is a reflected sound wave. so during in a time interval t children in a time t it is traveling d plus d total 2d that's what speed is equal to 2d by time actually so this form is very important in order to solve the numericals based on the echo then what are the conditions children yes here so the time between a virginal sound and the reflected sound minimum should be 0 0.1 or can be greater than 1 also if a sound, the reflected sound is reaching our ear less than 0 0.1 second so we cannot hear properly okay fine and second one in air the minimum distance between the obstacle and source should be 17 meters whereas in a water it is 72.5 meters and third one is that the size of the obstacle should be very much greater than that of the wavelength of the sound and the fourth one is that here 
the intensity of a uh, instant sound should be oh, no, it should be a very high such a that it should get reflected back and should be heard so these are the conditions okay now comes to the applications children so mostly uh, we can so in a echo uh, what are related applications children generally we will be using a sonars only sorry not sonar ultrasonics why we are using ultrasonics because of their special properties so ultrasonics they, they are high directivity they are of high directivity they are confined to a narrow beam and they will travel through the medium long distances without getting absorbed much because these reasons ultrasounds are used in a many applications and here come to the sonar children so in a sonar yes concept of echo is used where we will be using the ultrasonics what is sonar sound navigation and ranging and here radar also we can use a concept of echo what is the radar so radio radio detection and ranging but in radar children we use electromagnetic waves in, a, in other applications again ultrasonics only so we know that bats and dolphins they can produce a, a ultrasound and they can use the echo concept to find what uh, to reach their destinations to find the prey and obstacles and all these things and it is also used what we can this echo concept and the sonar what we can say ultrasonics they are used in a ultrasonography and even can be used in echo cardiography okay fine children so this is mostly application oriented only okay now fine now we discuss the types of vibrations journey fine children yes first what are natural vibrations children so the vibrations which can happen in the absence of an external force means the periodic vibrations in the absence of any external force acting on it are called natural vibrations example children the oscillations of a pendulum in a vacuum vibrations of a tuning fork in a vacuum means any vibrations of any object happening in a vacuum comes under natural vibrations and the specialty is that here as there is no external force obviously the amplitude of the natural vibrations remains constant so this is how displacement time drop of the natural vibration will be very very important means amplitude remain as time passes amplitude remains constant okay fine and here one more important thing children the frequency in a time period depends on the depends on the size and shape of an object which is undergoing natural vibrations clear fine then example still that yes for example the frequency of a simple pendulum is 1 by 2 pi to square root of g by l means what it is inversely proportional length by changing the length of a simple pendulum we can change its a natural frequency and second one is spring mass system here so for a spring mass system frequency is equal to 1 by 2 pi into square root of k by f means by changing the k spring constant and a mass we can change the frequency of the spring mass system the third one is the string in instrument children for that frequency is equal to 1 by 2 l into square root of 2 by pi r square root d which means what here this frequency depends on length of the string tension the string r is thickness of the string d is density of the string clear and the one more very very important thing children here if any string is stretched between the two rigid supports and it is plugged at a different points definitely we will have a different modes of vibrations then what is the frequency of the different modes of vibration children here it is so f1 is to f2 is to f3 means we are initially means first we will uh, plug in the middle next one fourth next one sixth then the frequency is ratio is one is to two is to three and the ratio of the modes of vibration of the wavelengths is 6 is to 3 is to 2 okay fine next damped vibrations children so the periodic vibrations in the presence of external period what we external uh, what we can say resistive force so that the amplitude will be decreasing so simply we can say that here the periodic vibrations with a decreasing amplitudes in the presence of external periodic external medium or external resistive force are called damped vibrations example oscillations of pendulum in air vibrations of tuning fork in air and the very important thing children here for a, due to the uh, resistive force the amplitude keeps on decreasing means as time passes amplitude will be decreasing look at here as time is passing the amplitude is decreasing finally these oscillations are ceased what is the reason because energy is lost against the frictional force clear fine children now come to the force vibrations what are force vibrations the vibrations of an any object 
under the influence of external periodic force means repeatedly the force is applied then body is undergoing some vibration those vibrations are called forced vibrations example so if like you know what the vibrating tuning fork when it is uh, pressed against the what we can say a table so big sound is heard actually so there in that case what we can say the table is forced to do the vibrations when we are beating the drum that membrane of drum will be there it will be vibrating yes it is it is in a what we can say it is executing forced vibrations and here the children we have one special case resonance resonance is a special case of forced vibrations where where what means where the natural frequency of the vibrating body matches with the frequency of the external force applied so in exam they may ask a question what is the condition to occur resonance so the natural frequency of the vibrating body must match with the frequency of the external periodic force applied done and during this uh, phenomena so called resonance children a louder sound is heard why because amplitude increases as amplitude is increasing louder sound is heard and examination point of view applications of resonance are very important children uh, while this uh, soldiers are crossing the suspension bridge they are asked to do means uh, to not to do the march fast rather they are to have a casual walk because if they'll go with a march fast definitely they apply some force if 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 time is a bad in a worse situation the natural frequency of the uh, what we can say suspension bridge might match with the frequency applied by the force of the soldiers then what will happen suspension bridge will vibrate with the increasing amplitude it may collapse it may get collapsed it may get damaged and the second one so in a tv and a radio children when we are trying to tune to a particular channel what will try to do yes we are trying to match the frequency of the oscillator with the free frequency of the radio waves and third one so whenever we are just you know traveling in a particular vehicles at a particular speed children we can hear a louder sound because at that particular speed the frequency of the engine matches with the frequency of the all other vibrating bodies natural frequency of the all other vibrating bodies then they all are in resonance so that louder sound is heard okay now fine so these are the types of vibrations and here the what we get at the last concept in the sound is what actually characteristics of the sound wave pattern or wave form function now look at this so children there are three characteristics of sound the first one is what actually first one is loudness second one is pitch third one is quality chill what is the loudness children the characteristics of the sound with which we can uh, differ what we differentiate louder sound from a faint one is called loudness and a loudness is how it is related to the uh, intensity children here what is intensity here very very important so the amount of energy which is passing per unit area in a one second is called intensity actually so intensity units are what we watt per meter square so this is how both loudness and intensity are related so loudness depends on mainly four factors first one is loudness is proportional to the square of the amplitude it can be written as l1 by l2 is equal to a1 square by a2 square it is inversely proportional to the distance between the source of sound and the listener and it is proportional to the uh, surface area of the vibrating body and even loudness of a sound also depends on the presence of resonating bodies clear fine so in exam you know like these two waves with the uh, uh, same uh, frequency and the quality will be given they will ask us to find which one will have more loudness obviously this amplitude is more than this so obviously loudness of wave b is greater than loudness of wave a clear fine children now come to the pitch what is the pitch children the characteristics of the sound with which we can distinguish the uh, what we can say acute note from a grave one grave note actually it is called actually uh, pitch pitch depends on frequency more is a frequency more is a pitch less is a frequency less is a pitch now children look at here in these two waves both having same amplitude wave pattern is same so quality is same but here in a second wave wave b more number of waves are produced in a second time so more is a pitch so definitely more will be the what is more is the frequency obviously more will the pitch so here frequency of b is greater than frequency of a so therefore pitch of b is greater than pitch of a and the last one is a quality children this is a very 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 important children it's a very important thing is that two mu two different musical instruments may produce sound with same loudness and same pitch but they cannot produce the sound with the same quality or same timbre 
so the characteristic of the sound which uh, with which we can distinguish the both sounds from a different instruments with the same uh, loudness and the same pitch is what actually called quality so quality depends on wave pattern on it depend it also depends on the wave form so you can see the diagram on the you know board here then first one is a uh, wave pattern of the sound produced by tuning fork and the second one is a sound pattern produced by the piano both will have same loudness same pitch but pattern is different obviously the quality will be different and here one important point which you forgot children the unit of loudness is a pawn but the level of sound is measured in terms of decibel children if a sound with a low, what we call the level of sound if exceeds 120 decibels it causes noise pollution so what is the difference between noise and the music children yes music means what the sounds which are produced in a rhythmic way but whereas noise yeah, what we can say uh, when the noise is produced if a sounds are produced in a disturbance manner in a disorder without discipline we can say that and with a uh, music you know we can have that pleasant feel but whereas with the noise children definitely the irritation we will be getting irritated and which may leads to some health issues also okay na so these are the concepts of sound children just make a note of it